AgriPower is a biomass to energy technology manufacturer located in Pennsylvania, USA. Welcome to our technology demonstration. The process begins when pre-sorted and pre-sized biomass is transferred from the fuel storage unit to the biomass combustion system by way of the fuel transfer system. This consists of a series of augers and airlocks designed to contain and move the fuel on demand, maintaining a constantly full fuel feed auger. A chute equipped with photo eyes automatically operates all equipment used to transfer the biomass fuel. Once inside the firebox, the fuel forms a pile and the combustion process begins. The fuel feed rate automatically adjusts by way of a variable frequency drive, which maintains an output matching the load demand. In the firebox are a series of parallel stainless steel augers. These augers evenly distribute fuel and combustion air. They also move the fuel through the firebox until it is in the form of ash and then remove the ash from the primary combustion chamber. These augers are water-cooled. The temperature is maintained by way of a circulating water cooling system. Water temperature and flow through the augers are monitored, greatly extending the operational life of the augers. The ash is collected in bins, which are periodically emptied. The combustion air for the process is provided by three separate sets of combustion fans at three levels of the combustion chamber. The primary, or underfire combustion air, the secondary combustion air, and the tertiary, or overfire combustion air. The combustion fans are also on a variable frequency drive. By adjusting the speed of the individual fans, we are able to compensate for lower quality fuels or fuel with higher moisture content. The secondary combustion chamber, which is a chamber located directly above the primary combustion chamber or firebox, is used to hold the combustion gases for added residence time at high temperatures to lower and or eliminate possible harmful stack emissions. Directly located above the secondary combustion chamber is our fire tube steam boiler. The boiler is equipped with all the necessary level sensors, valves, and monitoring equipment. It utilizes an air-operated soot blower system to reduce maintenance and improve efficiency. Providing the feed water to the boiler is our boiler feed water system, and water quality is maintained through a chemical injection system and a water softener. After the combustion gases pass through the boiler and the energy has been extracted to make steam, the gases exit the boiler through ductwork and enter the multi-clone. The multi-clone is an emissions control device used to remove most fly ash from the combustion gas stream, preventing the ash from exiting out the stack and entering the atmosphere. The fly ash is separated and passes through a rotary airlock and into an ash bin, which is periodically emptied. The gases move to the induced draft fan, which is a fan used to maintain a constant negative pressure throughout the combustion gas stream. This fan, which operates automatically by way of a variable frequency drive, ramps up or down to make more or less steam based on load demand. The combustion system and related equipment are monitored and controlled by way of a colored HMI touchscreen. All information, including temperatures, alarms, motor status, and operating parameters are displayed on easy to read and operate animated screens specific to each part of the system. The control panel is capable of remote monitoring and operation and can be integrated into most other forms of software. From the boiler, the steam is transported to the screw expander skid to generate power. The steam enters the buffer tank and is fed into the screw expander through several automatically controlled modulating valves. The modulating valves control the feed rate of steam to the expander, thus controlling the output power produced. The screw expander skid is equipped with an oil lube package used to lubricate all moving parts. The oil lubrication system has an onboard cooling system to maintain a safe and effective oil temperature. 
The Screw Expander Skid is equipped with all necessary monitoring and control equipment for safe and reliable operation. The Screw Expander Unit is coupled to a generator by way of a gearbox. In the generator, the electrical power is produced. Electronic equipment in the electrical control panel is used to monitor the manufactured voltage and power. Alarms will notify the operator if the power output falls outside the required parameters. From the control panel, the generated power is fed to a load bank where it is dissipated for the demonstration model. After the steam has been used to make the power in the screw expander, it exits the expander at a much lower pressure and needs to be condensed back into water form. The low pressure steam is transported by piping to the air-cooled condensers. At the condensers, large fans force ambient air across fin and tube radiators to cool the steam, forcing it back to water form. The condensate water is gathered in the condensate tank, which is monitored to maintain a consistent level. The condensate water is then pumped back to the boiler feed water tank by the condensate pump. As the boiler feed water system receives the condensate water from the condensate pump, the closed loop is complete and the water is once again fed into the boiler on demand as boiler feed water. The screw expander skid and related equipment are also monitored and controlled by an HMI touchscreen. As with the combustion system, all information and control parameters are controlled and displayed on various screens for operator interface. Thank you for learning about AgriPower's Biomass to Energy technology. We can likely reduce your biomass and municipal solid waste streams, improve energy availability and reliability, and reduce the cost of energy under most circumstances. For more information, to schedule a site visit, or to learn about additional solutions for energy, recycling and waste stream reduction, we invite you to contact us.